What's going on, guys? Welcome to Xavier's Marketing Man Cave, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you a really extreme shortcut on how to add a new email address to get response because it's a bit it's a bit tricky and I'm gonna, you're going to see why but before we get into that guys if you have a get response account and if you notice that your open rate and click rate has dropped uh, drastically after some time after sending uh, you know a lot of newsletters because it's going to happen to everybody after some time of you sending newsletters through get response uh, eventually that email address associated with uh, the newsletters that you're sending out will get blacklisted and will no longer reach people's inbox a uh, good way to to know whether it's reaching people's inboxes or not is to add your most frequently used email whether it's gmail whatever manually add it in the back office of get response and um anytime you send out a newsletter uh, you should receive the newsletter to that email address. You'll be able to monitor it and see if it's actually reaching your inbox or not. Okay, but now that we got that out the way, uh, why we want to use this method that I'm about to teach you, it's because even people to this day and exper experience marketers, what they'll end up doing is they'll end up buying a name, a domain name, or let's say like Namecheap, for example. And then they'll point it over to their hosting. Let's say their hosting is with GoDaddy. And they'll point it over to their hosting. And that's a process that takes a few hours. And then after they do that, then they have to get under cPanel on their hosting. And then they have to manually add their email address. I mean, the domain name. And once they confirm that, then they have to create an email for it. And then that's where they actually receive the confirmation from GetResponse. And it's, it's a long, tedious process, guys. And this is a, a mega shortcut that most people don't know about this shortcut. And this is why I love Namecheap, okay? So let's go over to Namecheap. Now, a few hours ago, I purchased a domain name, which cost me like $1.50. Uh, the domain name in question that I bought is online success marketing XYZ. <clears throat> bought that today. So, when you purchase uh, your domain name, I always recommend you buy a cheap one like uh, .xyz. And there's like a, you'll see it price wise, there's a bunch of cheap ones. But at the end, with tax and everything, I paid like a dollar fifty for this one. So, I'll click on manage. And when you click on manage, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom and look for an area that says redirect email. And this is basically where the magic happens. Um, you're going to want to click add forwarder. And when you do that, it's going to open this box. It's going to display this box. And over here in this first section, you're going to type in anything you want. Uh, I typically will type in like admin or support or team because the way it's going to display, it's going to display, uh, <clears throat> it's going to display something like support at online success marketing dot X, Y, Z. Okay. That's the way it's going to display. So I usually use like admin or support and then it's going to forward. You're going to type in here your most frequently used email mine for example it's an old gmail account i've been using forever i want emails that are coming to my new email to forward to my old email to redirect to my old email um it just makes it a lot easier when you do it this way guys so in this case i added support here <clears throat> and then at um online success marketing dot xyz but in reality what i'm going to type in here is my gmail account my most frequently used gmail account so after you do that you're going to click the check mark there's going to be a check mark here you're going to click on it and it's going to save it all right and when you do that you go over to um back to your uh 
your uh, get response account you go to the far right corner you'll click on manage account you're gonna click on email addresses now guys if you're wondering why it says like Flory Perez or whatever it's because I have a few get response accounts and I use different names on them uh, so it doesn't look like it's all coming from the same sender constantly like I'm bombarding uh, my list with emails from the same person over and over again so um, what you'll do is you'll click on add email and when you do that you can add whatever name you want on here you can use your real name or a fake name or you can add something like support team and then you're gonna add the email okay for example this is how it's going to look uh, support at online success marketing dot XYZ and you're gonna add that address and always remember uh, Gmail I mean get response is gonna send out an email to this new email and then it's gonna redirect to your old Gmail account okay so I'm not gonna add it because I already did earlier but once you click add they're gonna want you to confirm it you see how this one says like unconfirmed this is the one I just created so we're gonna to wanna to confirm that so when you set that all up you'll receive an email and I'll show you here you'll see here I received uh, uh, an email from get response and you'll see so you have requested to add the address support online success you saw how it was redirected to my gmail account so what you'll do is you'll just click confirm and when you click confirm it'll be added <clears throat> it'll say confirmed to your gmail account and you'll be able to send out uh, your newsletters from your new uh, email account and your emails should reach people's inboxes after doing this change I've been using this method for some time now and it works like a dream but anyway guys that's the shortcut how to avoid doing it the long tedious way and uh, I hope you found this guy found this useful guys as always subscribe ring the bell notification for more coming videos in the description area guys you'll be able to uh, find me on Facebook and send me a friend request if you want but um that's my time for now guys and uh, I hope you found this useful uh, and uh, take care